<laughs> yo, 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 Minecrafters. Generic B here with a tutorial. Some of you guys have been waiting on this for a while, and I finally got around to making it. It's my chicken breeder, cooker, griller, egg machine, 10,052. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been waiting for a couple reasons. One is chickens, actually most passive animals in 1.2.5, uh, no longer run when they get caught on fire. And here is my original design uh, that I have in my Let's Play world. Uh, and I won't really go into it that much, but if you got a chicken before the chickens would fall and they would land on this nether rack and they would run off into this little pit, uh, they don't do it anymore. They just kind of sit there and they go, Oh my god, I'm on fire! Blech. And then all the stuff gets burnt up in the, uh, in the fire. So I had to fix it. And here we are. Burk, burk, burk. <laughs> so uh, it's got everything. It's got an egg mode. It's got a cook mode. This is an egg farm and a cooked chicken farm and a breeder. Guaranteed won't cook up any baby chickens because, you know, baby chickens won't drop any feathers or cooked chicken. Uh, so here's how it works. To load it up, you just toss some eggs up in there. You just go Donk, like that. Get a couple in there. There we go. Oh, nice chickeny. And they are going to go into the first little first little spot right here. And this is the the baby chick incubator. And as you can see, there is a wood pressure plate right below. I'm going to come around here. Uh, as soon as they grow up in the grown-ass chickens, uh, they will drop an egg, which will land on the wood pressure plate, and which will then move them into this other chamber where they wait and then as they lay eggs as grown-ass chickens uh, the eggs are gonna come down and you can just collect them so let's wait let's wait for these chickens to done grown up and uh, then we'll get going ah there we go Wow I tell you what a watch chicken never grows <laughs> so after a long long time the baby chicks grow up into full-grown chicks grown ass chicks there they are and uh, you notice they all kind of went adult at the same time and that's because we tossed all the eggs up in the uh, you know in this chamber at the same time so they hatch around the same time and they turn into full-grown chicks at the same time uh, now they're still in the little nursery phase and what we're waiting on right now is for just one of them to lay an egg it'll land right on this wooden pressure plate and that will trigger uh, some pistons which will then move them over into the grown ass chicken uh, chamber so uh, man I tell you what I could wait I waited forever for these things to grow up let's go around here for a moment I'm gonna toss an egg down here <laughs> and just pretend to go okay boom and so that moves they go over they're over in they're over in uh, this this mode here now this is egg laying mode right egg mode and so whatever eggs uh, come out of them they're gonna fall right down here right into this water stream and we're gonna get eggs now whenever oh one thing to keep in mind also is you see how this uh, this indicator light is on this is kinda like a warning light this says hey don't put uh, any baby chickens in here because there's something on the pressure plate so if you put any baby chickens in they would go straight into this adult chicken so it's kind of like a, a safety a little, a little easy safety um, so now you could sit here and you could wait for eggs to pop down that'd be no-brainer now here's the here's the clever part if you want to cook flip a switch they fall down right onto this half slab a little sliver of lava comes down they all die look at all that cooked chicken and feathers and then you just put it back into egg mode it all drops down eggs and I mean no eggs cooked chicken and feathers plunk right grab it you're good to go so let's show you how it's built follow me alrighty get out of here cows shoot <laughs> so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build this kind of backwards uh, we're gonna start at the at the delivery mechanism 
Uh, we're going to put a sticky piston and that little guy, a little half slab. You could put a full slab on here, I'm sure. I haven't tested it. I just kind of like a half slab for them to land on. Uh, we're going to take a little repeater right there. We'll block one of these guys. And we are going to then grab our glass. Put it like that. And let's see, we are going to then take a regular piston, point it up like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're going to then build the little section for the lava to go. Just like so. So that's where the lava is going to run in, right? Gonna build these up just a little bit more. And don't worry uh, if you can't follow this block by block, I'm gonna have a download link in the description of the video. Ha ha! See how much I love you guys. I know, I'm too good for you. What can I say? Uh, and then we are going to place a another sticky piston here, like that. This guy actually needs to be. A solid block and so does this one just like that right and we're gonna put a torch right there and just a piece of dust right there so the way we have it set up this is the piston to push the uh, the half slab in and out this is the piston that's gonna uh, put the water or let the water run in and out and if we just take a test lever here for a moment place it right there. You can see when I hit it, those two both extend and those two both retract. So that's perfect. And then the one that will control the lava piston uh, will be this guy. Again, we're going to put a temporary switch and it just controls that guy. It doesn't affect the other ones. Perfect. Okay, so then we are going to build ourselves a little place for the water to go. Right? like so and perfect now the water is the source block is gonna go right here the water is gonna go flow right over this tube and that's where the chickens are gonna hang out so we're gonna grab a sign here and we're gonna put it right even with the with the piston just like that so then when we put in the water we can go ahead and do that. Not going to mess anything up. See, it'll flow through. The chickens will land right there. Everything's hunky dory. We will cover this part up like that, right? So they'll fall in. They'll float right on top of that thing. This will be egg mode, right? So if a grown ass chicken is there, they lay the eggs. It's going to fall right down into the water. And we'll put the water in at the end. Uh, and then if you flip it, water cuts off, they fall down, and they go onto the half slab. So that's cook mode. Easy. Okay, so then we need to build the, uh, the little place for the baby chickens to hang out. And what we're going to do there, we'll put a temporary block, stick two pistons there, put a couple solid blocks right there. And then we'll build a nice little spot for them to go into, like that, right? And we're going to put a block right there, and we're going to grab a wooden pressure plate. It has to be wooden, because that's where the egg is going to land. And we're going to build ourselves a nice little base around that and the one thing other thing we're gonna do we're gonna grab a redstone lamp stick it right in front so when something lands on the pressure plate it'll light up that lamp perfect uh, and then we're gonna build just a little bit of a box around those two sides sometimes you just need that just in case the egg tries to go all wonky uh, this keeps it all in the same square. Now, 
what we need to do is do a little creative. Uh, I'm going to swap these out for some actual uh, solid blocks. Yep, that's the word, solid. Get rid of that temporary one we had. We're going to put a torch and then a block. So that controls those two guys. And then we're going to place the redstone dust just like that. And it's perfect. All you got to do is you toss something on there. It retracts. And we're going to put some uh, more right there. Perfect, perfect. And we're going to put our water in. Just put it right there. Notice it doesn't fall down because the pressure plate is holding it up. Awesome. And then finally, we just need to build up a little place for the chickens to uh, fall down into the hole, the baby chicks, once we toss eggs at them, right? So we're going to grab another sign. We're going to throw a sign right there. We're gonna build this out just a, sm Ooh, ah. <laughs> just a smidge, like so. We're gonna put a sign right here, and then that'll keep the water in. We're gonna put just like that, so you get a nice little two two block stream, and then we're gonna build on top of that because chickens. Uh, any chicken tube needs two blocks high. It needs one for the water and one for the chicken. And we're going to build it around. Make it all nice and pretty. Um, I'm doing this in glass. You can do it in anything you want. Uh, but one thing I have found that's kind of uh, necessary is you almost want to make sure you have some kind of solid block on the corners. Maybe even ideal if you do the whole thing in solid block up here. Uh, and the reason being is if you're tossing chickens up through the hole, sometimes they'll glitch through and uh, they'll end up on top. So if you just fill in all the all the corners, you should be good to go, at least up here. Next up, uh, this gets you to all of the actual mechanics of the chicken farm. And But now we need to control it somehow. So I'm going to stick a little block right there grab me a lever right and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a kind of a pulse lengthener uh, and the way I usually do it is with an RS nor latch with a delayed reset so we're gonna build one of those guys like that we're gonna put a torch there a repeater right there we're going to put dust right over there and a torch right there. Then we're going to stick three repeaters. We're going to turn the corner, another two, turn the corner, and three. We're going to set all of those to max if we can. We've been working hard, so let's take a quick nap. Oh, I don't have a bed. No. We're going to grab a bed really quick. Gonna make our bed and then we're gonna lie in it. Cause I'm not smart enough to have single player commands. Although it's coming. It's coming in the next uh the next release. Alright, so we have those set up. Now we just need to put some dust right here. So what this does is this sends a signal uh to the RS Nor latch. This is the, the signal, the set, and then after a little bit of a delay, it'll turn it off. Uh, and we need that to open up the lava just long enough to create a very thin blade of lava to fall down on the chickens. Uh, but we need to we need to uh, activate this somehow. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dig down here a couple underneath both the. Oh, let me tear this guy off. There we go. Underneath both of these, we're going to put torches, just like that. We are going to tear out a little bit of space. Fine, there we go. There is our block with the lever, our control block, right? Gonna 
tear that out. We're going to put some dust there. Heck, we might as well put a repeater there. And I'm going to go like that. That way you have the signal going into both of these. Turns them on at the same time. You could go ahead and fill this in with, with dirt or blocks or whatever. I'm going to leave it alone for right now. And the final thing that we need to do, got all the water in. We need to put the lava in next. Find my lava bucket. My bucket! And I tell you what, I'm going to do this the old fashioned way. Oh, so fast. Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're done. Now, if you notice, I'm going to turn it. This puts it into egg mode. But the lava only. Uh, only activates when you flip it up into cook mode it doesn't activate when you flip it back down so it's a really cool uh, setup but watch this I'm gonna flip it the lava comes out just enough look at that little bit and by the time it gets down and it hits those chickens it's disappeared but it's just enough time for them to cook and die and then you flip it back goes back into egg mode and our last thing is we put some water there and it'll take it to you. Simple. And of course you can purify it, put a big chicken head on it, whatever you want to do. Um, one couple things about this. Uh, in SMP, it's a little wonky uh, because chickens, when they are stuck in a tube, a little one block wide tube, they love moving around all over the place. You could probably address a lot of that just by filling in the corners like this. Um, you still might get a little bit of funkiness going on, but the more spaces you can fill in, the better. Uh, so give it a shot. I'm going to try it on Hermitcraft for sure. That's all I got. Uh, download is in the description. If you have any questions at all about it, just give me a holler in the comments and I'll be happy to help. But uh, hope you enjoyed, and happy chicken grilling. Until next time, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace! Like this video? You'll love my channel. Just subscribe by clicking on that shiny yellow button. Or check out one of my playlists by clicking on one of the red buttons. Go ahead, I'll wait.